Bak Today so senior Today we're going to meet the king The king of Fadun Wow And I thought Shandu was in Hotburg Look at this place The spirit faith is stronger here in Ajul than it is in Rashagal Hmm Whoa, check those out! That's something you won't see anywhere else in the world. It's one of Kanbalar's famous mountain slide cars. What are they? Kanbalar was built along the peaks of a mountain range. Those slide cars connect the multiple districts together. Don't they look fun? I bet we could see forever in one of those. I bet. <laughs> How do we go about meeting the king? I'll request a royal audience for you when I seek permission to use the wyverns. Don't get your hopes up, though. Many people come to the capital seeking an audience, so you may need to wait a bit. I suggest resting at the inn until I get back. Yeah, okay. I bet right now you're trying to think of a way to do things without Jurgen's help. Uh, just try not to make trouble for him, okay? He's a nice guy. Oh my God. Try to stay away from the eaves of the houses. The snow on the roofs could tumble down on you. Mm. 
Closer look? No. Such a well, I guess maybe it's just more impressive that way. Oh. So that was the rumored mountain slide car. That was quite the view. You sure like high places. Jurgen still isn't back? Not yet. Elise, wanna do some sightseeing? <clears throat> Miss Elise, huh. why not join Leia? Come on, Elise. Gosh, now that Tipo's giving us the silent treatment, I guess I need to pick up the slack. You, talk more than before? Impossible. Meh. Hey, just because Tipo's gotten quiet doesn't mean you have to. I'd love to hear more about you, Elise, in your own words. Shut up, Leia. You're the one holding us all back, after all. Huh? Huh? Elise, that was uncalled for. You should apologize. You must have really crossed the line if Mama Mila's scolding you. I hate Mila. And Leia, too. Hey, where are you going? Ouch. That stung a little. Not gonna lie. Please. Do not let it get to you. Uh, oh, I I'm fine. We need to get Elise back. Huh.
No reason to be alarmed. This is purely a chance encounter. Nothing more. Elise, I'm sorry about before. I can't imagine how lonely you must be without the old Tipo. I know I have a bad habit of opening my big mouth without thinking. Please forgive me. No. Come on, don't say that. I'll beg if I have to. I thought you and Mila were my friends. I hate you. I hate you! Can't you see that I'm just worried sick about you? Liar! You don't care about me at all! I don't want to be friends anymore! Miss Elise... Everyone is being kind to you right now because you have them so concerned. You say that you feel hurt, but have you considered your own actions? Do you realize that Tipo's words were just as hurtful to Miss Leia? I hurt Leia? Well, hurt is a strong word, but... You took the wind out of my sails, that's for sure. I had no idea. Why don't you try apologizing to her? But... I said such horrible things. I am certain she will forgive you if you ask nicely. Forgiveness is the sign of a true friend. Leia, I'm sorry. Will you forgive me? Sure, but under one condition. From now on, I want you to tell me more about yourself using your own voice. Huh. You're not the boss of her. You're only three years older. Tipo, stop! Elise? E yes? Even if it's only three years, I'm still older than you. Right. Bossy Leia, scary Leia! <laughs> <laughs> There's a lesson here, child. Never take your friends for granted. So what do we do now? Jurgen still hasn't gotten back yet. We could just barge into the castle ourselves. Uh. For the hundredth time, let's not cause any trouble for Jurgen. That's no good? Uh. Hmm. It sounded like a good idea to me. Oh good then, make the... Dude! We're such great pals! Hey! Why do you always chomp my face? As a sign of affection! I've never seen Tipo get so close with anyone else before! So that was like a Tipo kiss. It was? My first kiss was stolen by Jude? <gasps> Stolen? That should be my line. I can't believe I'm having this conversation with a puppet. Don't be coy, Jude. You have to take responsibility. Oh, Jude. Responsibility? Responsibility for what? Tipo, please. Stop saying mean things to Leia. But that's on you, Elise. No, I don't want to insult my friends. But at the bottom of your heart, don't you want to? Huh. No, you're wrong. Don't say things like that. Bad, Tebow, bad. Hey, take it easy, you two. But Tebow's been saying horrible things. It's all right. I don't mind. Always meddling with us just because you're a few years older. But, but I like it when Leia meddles. Yep, she really does feel that way. Oh, thanks, Elise. Guess I'll keep right on meddling, then. That's quite the line. I guess this king really does listen to his people. The king of Arjul is well known for his charisma. It is said he unified this strife-torn country on the strength of his character alone. A guy like that is sure to help us. Charisma only goes so far. If his government is secretly producing children like Elise, 
then he must answer for it. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, we were getting antsy. No, this is actually perfect timing. Are we good to go with the wyverns? Yes, I got royal approval. And something incredible happened when I requested an audience for Mila. What is it? When I told them your names, they said His Highness was looking forward to meeting you, too. Are you all famous in Rashagal or something? Uh, yeah. Um, Same with think so. Perhaps word of the tournament has reached Same His Highness. What a great honor for our clan. Anyway, I need to head back to Shandu to ready the Wyverns. Hmm. Okay. Quite the unexpected Bye -bye. welcome. It's not a trap, is it? I have a bad feeling about this as well. Uh. You do? Yeah. It beats not getting to meet him at all. <sighs> Keeping secrets from us again? Oh my god. Of course. I, mean... I have to maintain my mystique for the ladies. <sighs> What does he mean? They say men with secrets are attractive or something. I'm not exactly the right guy to ask. Come on, let's go say hi to his highness. Alvin, we really need you to be straight with us. Don't worry. I know you've put your trust in me. Considering the size of his country, Gaius's castle is actually pretty modest. I think that's admirable. Hi, King. Where are you? King, what do you know? Gaius. Hey. Halt! Citizens seeking an audience with the king are to wait in line outside the castle. We were told the king wished an audience with us. Is one of you Lady Mila? That's me. Very well. Please proceed. The rest of you... Stay. Oh, no. What's the holdup? I don't believe a doll is appropriate at a royal audience. I thought we might leave it here. You sure? It's okay. I'll hold that for you. Now, let us meet this king. Yeah. King. King Gaius. What are you doing here? I am Zhao the Immovable of the Chimeriad. The Chimeriad? Four warriors in personal service to the king. To think Zhao was a member all along. And they beat you. King Gaius. It is a great honor to meet you, former Chief of Staff Ilbert. Ah, and you are the Ebon Wing of Ajul, Wingle the Nova. You must be the King of Ajul. My name is Gaius, King of Ajul. Welcome, Maxwell. You have requested an audience with the King, have you not? Now please, state your business. Boosters made in your country have already fallen into Rashigal hands. If a war were to break out between your nations, then the results would be catastrophic for everyone. Oh, and you came all the way here just to tell me that in person? Uh, yeah. Yes, your highness. We're planning to destroy one of Rashigal's weapons, a really big one at that. Once that thing's gone, we know that Rashigal's king wouldn't dare declare war on you. 
In fact, we hope that you might, you know, help us. Is there anything else? Yes, there is one other matter we'd like to discuss. It is in regards to the booster laboratory within the Royal Hunting Grounds. Is it true you once abducted orphans for this facility, and then you performed experiments on these children? <laughs> well, I didn't see that one coming. What does any of this have to do with you, spirit? I am Maxwell. It is my duty to protect both humans and spirits alike. Really? Spirits protecting humans? Now that is quite an interesting tale. You forsook your duty as king, and then you toyed with the lives of your own people, didn't you? The laboratory is entirely my responsibility. It was a haven for those children. They would have died without it. You imagine it as a mad scientist lab, but I assure you the experiments were entirely humane. You expect us to take your word for this? But I... I was... Nah, man. This girl, she was that test subject? Yes, she was. Even in Hamil, Elise was forced to live in a tiny room. Don't you consider that... Cruel? Well, uh... Yes. Tell me something, boy. Have you ever considered what it takes to achieve happiness? To no. achieve happiness? Yes, to try and live a satisfying life. How do you think one can achieve that? Do you even know? No. Well... It takes freedom to make your own decisions, and to form your own beliefs. Exactly. It takes freedom. <laughs> Well, I disagree. When a man loses his way in life, the ground beneath him starts to slowly crumble until there is nothing left. What do you mean, nothing left? A man who cannot find his way becomes trapped. The more he struggles, the deeper he sinks into uncertainty. Uh. True happiness comes from following a noble path across an entire lifetime without getting lost. My country does not produce failures. It is the king's duty to show his people the proper path. I must keep them from becoming completely trapped. Now, let me tell you in no uncertain terms why I've called you here. Maxwell, I know you stole the key from the laboratory in Rashagal. Now hand it over immediately. No, I won't. The key was not meant for human hands. When faced with the power that can destroy the entire world, no human can control him or herself. It seems as though you haven't heard a thing that I just said, Spirit. Something about royal guidance and noble paths. I've heard it before. You humans never change. I've watched you for 2,000 years. All right. Then why don't you just tell us where the key is? Alvin! What are... what are you doing? But you can't... Alvin. Sorry guys. I'm just doing my job. Alvin, who did Maxwell entrust the key to? The Handmaid Ivor. He's probably sulking back in Niakara as we speak. What are you doing here? 
Hey, Pressa. Long time no see. Pressa, what is it? Ignore them. Give your report. The Rashigal army has invaded Hamil. What did you say? I'm afraid the casualties are high. Those not killed were captured. They were then sent to Rashigal. We also found evidence that the power of a great spirit was used upon the village. A great spirit? But no one has successfully summoned the four great spirits for two decades. Impossible. I would have known if the four great spirits had been released. Could it be? The Lance of Kresnik? Is it possible that Nautical has made a new key? If that's the case, then we're declaring war. Send word to all the clans. I am going to crush anyone who dares to harm my people! Well then. We will no longer have any need for the likes of you. But if His Highness were to have the Spirit Maxwell as his captive, even the unruly clans would be forced to bend their knees. <sighs> Miss Elise. T-Bone, no! <laughs> well, don't just stand there! Come on, run! <laughs> Capture Maxwell. Recover the test subject. mission, no matter what. Excellent. I assumed he had his reasons, but this time he took it too far. Stupid traitor, let me at him! Why would he betray us like that? I'm afraid even I can't read his mind. How could he do this to us? He better not show his face around us again. Reactivate the five control stones, we may be able to unlock the gate. Pour your mana into the stones until they glow red. Just like at Fort Gandala. The gate will not unlock, however, unless we all activate the stones at roughly the same time. Wait, I've never done anything like this before. Don't worry. Just use your mana as you would when casting an art. There's no time. We've only one chance. Let us begin. Uh-oh! 
Done. Already? I'm finished too. Same here. I did it. Come on, come on. I'm so sick of holding everyone back. Why? Why can't I do it? Mila! Leia, relax. I'm not good enough for this! Quit thinking you're inferior to anyone here. Thanks. You can do this. Let's continue. Okay. Ha! Yes! Hurry up, you two! Was good eaten. Tipo, what exactly is it that you absorb from foes? I'm not really sure. It's like their energy or enthusiasm. Is that nutritious? Beats me. But when I'm hungry, before I know it, I'm chowing down. You really are a peculiar creature. What does enthusiasm taste like? It depends on the person. For example, yours tastes like strawberries. What? When did you absorb mine? I don't need to absorb it to know. I can just tell. Huh. That does sound appetizing. Wait, what? Nobody leaves me behind at a party. Presa, was it? If you've been Gaius's henchwoman all along, then you've been after us ever since we escaped Fenmont. Al sold you out to His Highness way back in Nia Kara. He was on your side the whole time. Huh. <laughs> Hardly. That man's no ally. Huh? <laughs> I'll leave our relationship to your imagination. All I'll say is this. Al drifts from one group to the next like a ship without a compass. Trying to plot his course is impossible. Serves you right for trusting him. It's obvious that the Lance of Kresnik is the greatest threat if war breaks out. Surely Maxwell realizes this. Your territorial squabbles are of no interest to me. My only concern is keeping that thing out of human hands and preventing a miserable end for us all. So high and mighty, it's time someone broke your arrogance. Oh. Enough! You didn't become a veteran of countless battles through meaningless bloodshed. Has your youth gotten the better of you? Don't lecture me on age, Ilbert. Your ways are old. Therefore, you falter. <laughs> and then you flee. <sighs> What just happened? A sudden burst of mana. He has a booster! Why? Who are you? Elias, Saibon Punyukida, Tiyaude Sevon Priyande. What? Is that Long Dao? Suhun Susu Maxwell. Wizun Kijiodo. Why would he own Wanza? I warn you, he's quite strong like this. <laughs> Can't understand a word he's saying, though. No matter, he'll understand soon enough. Once we're all finished with you. No, keep out! How unfortunate. Here you Not bad. Attack. Please take off! Go, Tifa! Sharing is caring. Do it! Do it! Do it! Oh, sorry. 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 Oh,
dramatically increased. There can be only one reason. A booster. That one. I'm just getting started. Excellent. I can't stop. I'm Never stop improving. Still want to play, do you? Wait! Don't try to stop me. Uh, no, look! Uh, I suppose our time is up. Running away again, Ilbert? It's because you ran last time that King Noctigal ended up the way he did. have to escape, so that's why you left Tipo with the guard. Yes, I knew that it would end up being Mila who treated with King Gaius. <laughs> and when Mila fully expresses herself, well, I figured something would happen. <laughs> I see why you were cautious. Yep, just as predicted. Oh, I know what that's called. That means Mila's a troublemaker. Huh. Hmm. Yo, Mila! Did you hear the whole thing? I can't deny the truth of your words, but there is one thing I'd like to add. By that definition, wouldn't Tipo be a troublemaker as well? Well, I guess that's... that's... What? Huh. You're not gonna defend me? No. So I will see you guys on the next episode, okay? <laughs>